What's going on, guys? Serenix, you join me at 6.24 a.m. on a Wednesday where I am looking at NVIDIA Canvas. Uh, I should be sleeping right now, but I thought I'd make a quick video showing off what I've been uh, playing around with uh, the last couple of hours. So, uh, this is NVIDIA Canvas. It's an early access beta of a new AI uh, kind of art generator kind of thing. So like it interprets certain colors or certain objects and it like does its best to dictate what you're drawing. And yeah, it's it's actually sick. So this is literally something I've been uh, messing around with for the like, last couple of minutes. And you can see like on the left, it's just a mess of like splotches and colors. And on the right, you have an actual decent looking image. And uh, I thought I would quickly just go through and make a fresh one and see uh, what happens so i'm just going to click on new document and as you can see we are greeted with two blank um sides so you can draw on either side but this is the main doodle side so as you can see i have the cloud tool selected and i made a cloud crazy stuff so um what i was thinking of maybe what could we do so just something simple so if we grab as you can see we have so many different tools here it's early access so they're going to be adding a lot more in the future of course but uh, for now we have like the basics like grass hill mountain stone river snow sand just enough to get you going with what you want to do so uh i'll grab the grass and i'll just start doodling you can change the bus size and uh i can't speak right now it i should be sleeping but whatever we shall move forward so uh, i'll just draw some grass fill in this uh, foreground here as as you can see we already have grass <laughs> easy and uh, I'll just erase that part here and flatten out a bit Um, so maybe now we can grab some stone um, I'm gonna draw onto the uh, actual like uh, generated side just so, so it's a bit uh, like easier to look at instead of looking over here or there so I'm just gonna draw some stone in here like this as you can see it does kind of get distorted because it is like generating on top of itself so it kind of gets a bit uh crazy i will turn the brush size down a small bit though just to get some smaller details going and it, and you can see it actually blends really nicely too which is awesome so yeah we got some uh stone on top of the grass now so if i was to add some water into this now see what that looks like maybe not on top of the stone but as you can see we can get like uh, actually like, kind of like a river going through like a little valley here it's, it looks sick actually whoops yeah, kind of like a swampy marshy land and we could add some uh, gravel oh it's a bit it's a bit powerful turn that brush down a bit and we can get some gravel down along the edge if it wants to play nicely of course that's Okay, it doesn't want to play nicely, obviously, so I won't bother. So if I was to add some more stone along the edge here, uh, it's a bit finicky, obviously. Like, as you can see, like the smallest brush stroke is going to make a huge difference to the image. And also, you can add trees and forests into the background. Your render, well, I wouldn't really call it a render brush size and just draw the forest and get a little forest going it's, it's actually really sick i mean this picture does not make any sense but it's really cool and i just thought i'd make this quick video and show it off and we'll just add some clouds oh that's a bit of a big cloud there we go see how quick it was to make that uh, little image and like um obviously the quality isn't the highest but It'll, it'd be very useful for concept environments, basic environments at some stage, not now, but I feel like productions might use this at some stage for concepting basic looks for what they want to achieve. But for now, it's an early access. Um, I will post more, vid more videos when they do add more materials and tools and hopefully increase the actual overall quality. But from what we have so far, it's actually it's crazy, and uh, I can't wait to see what they do with it next. But um, this is just a quick video, just to mess around and show you guys. And um, yeah, I will post more videos on this when I can. 
and I hope to have another video coming out soon involving my mocap equipment. And okay guys, so the recording actually kind of broke when I was making this and the rest of my audio is recording for this. But basically what I end up doing is I start painting a bit of a forest and kind of finished up the picture from there. But uh, after that then I started talking about how I, I have a new uh, video talk about my mocap equipment uh, going to be coming out soon. and and then another video incorporating the mocap a little short little scene that i'm working on hopefully uh one of those two videos will be out in the next uh, few weeks um i'm also um looking into switching from octane over to redshift so i'm kind of playing around with the redshift demo currently to get a feel for it to see if it's worth my time and money up not really upgrading but switching over um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted on that one because um, I'm having a lot of fun at the moment with Redshift. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, okay?